Hello, my name is Casey Taylor, and I'm going to discuss TwinCat user mode runtime. This was introduced with 4026, and there's actually three different options for user mode runtime. PC1700 is the most commonly used option and requires no additional licenses. This option allows me to run my code no longer in kernel level, maybe not with the determinism of a real PLC, but in much broader number of platforms and often better for simulation. There's two other modes that are dedicated to simulation. TC1701 is external uh, control where we can take and signal when we want the PLC cycles to happen. So uh, if we need some external tool to do some simulation. The last one, fast as possible, TC1702. This allows us to run as fast as the hardware will allow us, thus generating a lot of data from the PLC uh, again for simulation system. So let's talk about TC1700. So in TwinCat, down in the bottom right in the system tray in the TwinCat icon, we can right click here and we can launch user mode runtime. And when we launch it, the TwinCat icon changes a little. You'll see uh, a second one sort of behind it, it looks like. And here in my selection of targets, I can actually change and you'll notice that user mode runtime is available. So if I go ahead and connect to that user mode runtime, it'll behave much like if I were connecting to any other target. So I can go ahead and activate. Then I can go into run mode and you'll notice when it goes into run mode that that second twin cat icon behind representing the user mode runtime has gone green, indicating we're running. I can go ahead and log in and you can see that I'm running with data. Again, it's not gonna be as deterministic as a real uh, runtime but great for running on your development system, uh, testing out code, simulating uh, XPlaner or XTS, all sorts of different capabilities. So please give it a try. Let us know if you have questions and I hope you appreciate this uh, video. Thank you.